So this is the one from the other video where, um, shout out to Chris again, A3 ACR videos, big picture diagnosis. I was cleaning the condensers, noticed that this one was off when I went to go shut another um, condenser off to clean it. Um, did a quick once over, found a leak on this um, port right here. Shouldn't be leaking out of there. I'll check that service valve. The service valve is back seated all the way, so no pressure should be coming through there. But there is, so that's an easy fix. Put a swivel T on there, and then I uh, crack the service valve just slightly, just so you can get service, um, just so you can get um, system pressure when you do apply service gauges to the swivel T, and that fixed the leak. But um, that wasn't the only problem. But I would have easily missed it if I didn't keep my eyes open and pay attention. So basically, when I went to go shut this um, condenser off. I noticed that that one over there, C4, was off inside of here. Well, I could have easily missed that. So, you know what I mean? Just, just keep your eyes open, pay attention. The customer appreciated that I found it because they didn't even know that it was off. I guess the previous company didn't even tell them it was off. I guess they couldn't figure out what the issue was, but I'm going to show you guys what the issue was in this video. But just pay attention, guys. Keep your eyes open. Even for small things. Breakers being off. You can just miss something, something simple, and it could be a, a callback, or you leave the money on the table. So, so I did my, did my due diligence with this one. I fixed that leak right there. I open this, oh, crack of the air. So now you get system pressure out of this T, and it's no longer leaking. I'm gonna write don't touch there so you don't mess with that. You don't have to mess with that. If you need um, system pressure, you get it from right there. Then, meanwhile, yes, it was off. So I wanted to check a couple other things. I checked the electrical section, made sure nothing was grounded. I ohmed out my compressor, made sure my compressor's not grounded. Nothing is grounded. I see no other reasons why I can't turn this thing on and test it which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to turn this thing on, test it, and charge it up if need be, and go from there. All right, so, so I had the gas out ready just in case, you know, it was low on charge. So it did have that leak, but um, what's happening is we're going off on, um, I had discharge pressure. It's got a headmaster back here, head pressure control valve. And um, it's basically straight bypassing. So what's happening is, it's, instead of doing what it's supposed to do, it's not going through, it's going straight through, it's bypassing my condenser and coming straight down into my receiver. This is what's happening. So we got a bad head messer. Um, I think I can clip it get by I'm gonna let it cool down I'm gonna run it again make sure it's not overcharged I, I, I don't think it is because my sight glass was flashing but um my can't fan motor is spin in the right direction but I, I I'm getting hot right out of my liquid drain cool Straight cool coming um, out of my uh, So this one, like I said, we got a bad headmaster back there. This they fail in one or two um, ways, and they, this one failed in the bypass position, which basically will cause high head pressure and can cause your um, high head pressure switch to trip which in case was this case is what was happening so basically how you tell that is you feel the line coming so you got the discharge line coming straight there down into the um to the valve and then you got the line coming underneath the valve which goes straight into the receiver if those both of those lines are hot, it's stuck in the bypass position. Especially if your line coming out of the condenser, going into the valve, the back of the valve there, is cool. 
it's stuck in the bypass position. So, and that's exactly what was happening here. I had a hot discharge line, cool line coming out of the condenser into the valve, and hot line coming out of the valve into the receiver. The discharge line and the line going into the receiver were both the same temperature, causing me to have high head pressure and causing the trip. So I was able to get it running by smacking it a couple of times. I clipped the, um, also clipped it, the, um, the head. But I smacked it a bunch of times, Got kind of got it to open just enough to be able to get it to keep running. So, But like I said, they fail in two positions, either stuck in bypass mode, or they get stuck in not bypassing, which also can be look like um, a low charge scenario as well. So um, before condemning a valve for not bypassing, you should also add a couple add a couple pounds of charge in there and start seeing if the valve reacts properly. And if it doesn't, then you got a bad valve. But that's about it. So we're going to have to come back and um, replace that head pressure control valve as well as the other nightmares that are going on in this warehouse. Like cleaning those evaps from um, them driving forklifts all through the walk-in cooler. <laughs> so please, uh, if you like the content, follow, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.